Hello and welcome to Pyramid Edu Tech. This is our 14th lecture and in this lecture we will talk about something called grid. So we already have covered a lot of portions of CSS. I think this is uh, this is the ending part of CSS. We are gonna end this in today itself. Okay, we're gonna end our lecture series. We will do so after this. We will do some project works and then we will enter in our JavaScript portion. If you haven't watched earlier videos, go and watch each and every videos. There are 13 more lectures. Uh, after covering all those lectures, then come here. Okay. So let me talk about something called grid. Okay. So what is a grid? So I just come here and I just type something called grid. So when I talk about something called grid, I just show you some images of grid. Then you will understand. So grid is basically used for creating some template layouts. Okay. It's a template, okay. Just creating for layout. Okay, you can see all this layout, this layout, this type of layout, any layout, okay. So any layout can be created by grid in very easy manner, okay. So by by writing, you just understand, just uh, just understand the scenario is that when you type by hand, if you create all these layouts, it's gonna take time, okay. I know you can create it with flexbox, but uh, with flexbox also it will take little time okay and if you have to think all those things but grid, uh, grid makes things little more easier okay you will understand when we do quotes and all so first let me write some quotes then you will understand what i'm talking about okay so let me first okay let me first go here and just write type some uh, type some quotes here so first let's go with dot container as usual dot container okay after this container i'm just writing something called dot item Okay, in sys dot item, uh, I should write something uh, something like this: item item dash dollar. Okay, uh, how many how many I want? Let's go with uh, let's go with nine, I guess. So you can see that item one to nine, I have created nine uh, nine items in this. All right, so let's let's do it something. Okay, let's. Let's come above and type style here. In this style, I write something called dot item. In this dot item, I give a height of uh, let's go with 100 pixels or let's go with 50 pixels. I want small or go with 100. Let's go with 100 pixels. If I if I find uh, big uh, big enough, then we will small this out. And width also 100 pixels. Background color, let's go with uh, red. I don't know. Um, every time I just write background color, it always comes red in my mind. But you can write yourself, okay, whatever background color you want to give. I just give a border also, or two pixels solid black. All right. So border I have also given margin. Let's go with three pixels. And if I save this, now if I come, you can see that I have created nine box. Okay. I have created nine box with margin of three pixels border also you can decrease your border here also you can give, just give one pixels okay now you can see that yeah it looks fine now what I can do is I come here and in container dot container inside this container what I can do I can write something called display grid okay but uh, if I do something called display grid, nothing will happen. For for this, you have to type something called just understand display uh, for grid. You have to type something called display template columns. Okay, and if I write something, uh, you just see what I'm doing. If I write something called 300 pixels, okay, uh, 100 pixels, 100 pixels, you will understand what is going on here. Okay. 300, 100, and 100. Okay, instead of 100, I just type 110. Okay, uh, it will give gap. All right, so you can see that it is taking 300 of size. Okay, it is taking a width of 300. It is taking of 110. It is taking 100. So instead of 300, if I type 110 here also, and if I save this, now you will see that 110 means 100 is taking width this much, and 10 is this much. 100 is this much, 10 is this much, okay? 
uh, I can give uh, for more understanding I can give some uh, background color to this also. Now okay uh, I think I should have darkened this. Now if I come here you can see that the background color looks like this. Okay, you can see this much of gap. You can you can increase or decrease the gap here now. So for now it's fine. So if what happens if I do something called auto here? Just see what will happen. Now you can see that if I have if I have written auto here, 110 here, 100 here, and auto here, it is taking 110 space, and auto means automatically it will take all the remaining spaces. You understood? It would automatically take all the remaining spaces. Okay, so auto auto is also very helpful for you. Uh, you can use fragments also. Instead of uh, pixels, you can write something called okay. If I write something called a one fr, okay, one fr, you will understand what I'm doing. One fr, okay. I'm equally distributing all of this. Okay, so now if I come here, you can see. It is taking one fr, one fragment of space, one fragment of equal spaces. Okay, so instead of one fr, if I write something called two fr in this, it will distribute into four four parts, and it will take 25% of part, 25% of part, it will take 50% of the part. So now you can see it is taking 25%, 25%, and it is taking 50% twice of these two. Okay, so now this is how you can uh, you can. Uh, play with your uh, with your template columns so uh, if you find it difficult just do it one or two uh, one or two times you will understand it will it is very easy okay so you can write something if you, if suppose uh, it is one fr one fr repeating so you can write something called repeat also you can write something called repeat okay and in this repeat you just write three and write auto so automatically it will take one fr one fr of space okay uh, wait uh, uh, repeat auto three auto yeah uh, okay okay you have to give comma here you have to go with the syntax okay now it is taking three of space okay you can see that it is taking one fr one fr of space instead of three if you type four here and if i save this for now if i come here you can see that it is taking one fr I mean fragments is defined in fragments okay it is taking if it is four it is defined in 25 percent of each individual part if it is uh, if it is uh, suppose uh, three parts it is defined into 33.3 percent each part it is responsive also you can see that if i decrease you can you can see that uh, you can uh, it is responsive and uh, if you want you can use something called uh, flex wrap yeah remember flex wrap and just give wrap so every time you decrease the size it will come below so this is for just making responsive designs for responsive designs we already have talked about media queries you just read out documentations or just go through it and in live classes we will do all the demonstration of all those things for now just understand this much of thing so there is one more thing that you can use okay instead of uh, okay instead of doing all these things there is something called grid gap okay so you can use something called grid gap here also so if i write something called grid gap okay and uh, i write something called two rem okay if i come here you can see that two rem means uh, twice uh, twice the actual size okay it is giving the gap it will give gap from everywhere this gap here this here this here everywhere from everywhere it will give you a gap you just play with it you will find it very easy it's not a big task so it is just useful for creating beautiful layouts and all all right so now i just want to tell you some uh, some more stuff about in uh, about this so uh, if what if i want okay uh, i guess this is enough Mm, yeah hmm. so now uh, now what we can do with uh, I can go over here and write I remove all these things for now and let let me create some uh, some more stuffs in this okay I just remove uh, grid gap or I can leave this I just make it one ram okay I just create some more things in it okay I just write something called grid 
column uh, grid column gap okay and uh, let me write something called 12 rem okay and if i come here you can see this okay uh, that's why i'm saying it, it will come out so inside this column you will see the gap not in row inside this column so if you want simply if you want in row you say, uh, simply write row okay you just simply write row gap okay so for row you can see that inside this row you are getting this gap so if you want uh, individually in row or in column that gap you can use uh, grid column gap or grid row gap this is how you can play with that okay you can use pseudo selector in this also uh, if i write uh, in this item in this item here uh, if i write something called wait uh, just write here dot item okay and if i hover over it okay uh, or i can use uh, inst instead of hover i can use first child okay i am using just the first child here uh, what i can do is uh, i can write something called this is just just for showing you uh, you will uh, you will understand when you start doing all these things you will understand this is not very big task okay i just write one and uh, after start in end if i write something called 3 in this okay so you will understand it will start from 1 and take it 3 okay so if i come here you can see that from uh, not like this okay wait i just do what i should do i should remove this uh, width for now okay ha huh, now you will understand now okay now you can see that what i have done here i have written grid column 1 and grid column end 3 means it is starting from 1 and taking the whole space of 3 ok so it is starting from here 1 2 and 3 so it is taking twice the block size as this size ok you can see that twice the block size as this size ok you can see 3 uh, 2 of this uh, so now you are thinking that from 1 to 3 it, is, it has to take 3 spaces but it is taking only 2 spaces why because it's starting from here one is start from here one two and three so it is just taking twice the space of this much okay you can see that twice the space of this much all right so you can play with this also you can grid uh, column start uh, you can use row start also row end also okay so this is all about your grid you will understand when you start doing all these things this is very easy topic okay you just uh, go through it once just try to type all these things by yourself and you find out that okay this is not a big deal to ask so i hope you understand all the concepts of grid i just remove all these things for now okay so i think uh, one more thing I want to tell you, okay, I want to create a layout with grid template area, okay, I just want to say, uh, show you with grid template area, uh, for this I just create, uh, okay, I just create something called uh, dot container, yeah, this is also important, that's why, there are some more properties like auto fit, mean max, you just uh, go through it by yourself, okay, in template columns you can rewrite something called auto fit, mean max, you can give you the width and fr also, this is uh, not that much important that's why i'm not covering but you can go out through the documentation and in live classes we will do all those things okay for now just understand the concept which is very important okay so i'm just writing dot container inside dot container i just writing uh, has nav bar okay i'm just using all the semantic tags and i writing something like dot item okay so we're gonna have something called id nav bar class item you will understand why I'm writing IDs and all. Okay. So here instead of nav bar, uh, I should write something called section. And here in, uh, I'm writing something called uh, aside. Okay. And what more I should write? I should write. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go with this much for now. Okay. So you can see there uh, nav bar section aside okay so i'm just creating i just write uh, here also what we're gonna do we're gonna do using grid template areas okay we are talking about grid template area okay 
so now if i come here you can see nothing here and uh, what we going to do is uh, we going to create uh, we going to come on this style portion and i write something called dot item inside this dot item i uh, let's go with some background color background color let's go with blue okay and uh, let me give some border here okay border of uh, Two pixel solid black. It depends on you. You just type it yourself. Okay, if I come here, you can see this. Okay, you will not see anything because I haven't given uh, given anything, any sort of information in there. Okay, so I should write something called one, two, three, so that you can understand what what things are going on there. and now if i save this now if i come here you can see this 1 2 and 3 okay you can see three boxes are there so uh what we're going to do is first we're going to target with id that's why we have given the ids okay so we can target ids uh, simply here uh, something called hash nav bar because ids are unique so you can easily target that and you can write something called grid area in this okay i have written grid area and i'm writing nav bar okay because uh, i'm just targeting the nav bar for now okay for nav bar i'm writing nav bar section sections and aside aside so i'm just replicating these three things for now instead of nav bar i uh, just write something called section okay here i just use something called aside these are semantic tags that we sure which already we have seen that and uh, we can we can write something called footer also i have to write something called footer i just write footer dot item or you can uh, you can write by yourself okay you can directly write footer like this or you can use div or something like this okay for so for that i just have to write footer okay and uh, grid area you will understand what i am doing okay for now just see what i'm uh, what i'm uh, what actually i'm doing okay so grid area and what is this this is your footer so we are targeting the footer okay so this is nav bar section aside and footer so now what we going to do we going to come in this uh, i'm just writing something called dot container i'm just coming to this dot container part and in this container uh, first i should give something called display grid without grid it will not work let's go with a grid gap of uh, grid gap grid gap of let's go with one rem okay i'm just giving one rem of grid gap uh, okay i'm uh, using grid template areas okay and in this now you will understand what i'm doing is in this you have to type the uh, okay you have to just understand first let me do that then you will understand what i'm doing so i am just writing nav bar nav bar nav bar okay and uh, okay uh, again i just write nav bar i guess four is good okay i am just replicating value for now and instead of nav bar i am writing something called section okay and here i just write something called footer and here i am writing aside okay and if i save this and if i come here you will understand this okay uh, okay i think footer inside footer i won't have given anything footer dot item class item okay i have to write four here okay now you will see okay now you will see this you will see this Uh, nav bar is taking whole bunch of space because I have given four spaces one two three four, and in section I have given one two three three portion of this and one portion for a side, okay and this is for footer, so let me come here. Uh, what I should do, I should write color white so that you can understand all these things. I should write color white and instead of one two three I just write uh, here nav bar. Okay, here.
section again okay, here a side and footer here yeah now usually yeah, you can easily identify things okay this is your nav bar this is your section this is your side is your, so now you can see you can how usually you can define your layouts okay this is your nav bar you can do anything in this in section you can do anything in side you can do anything in footer you can do anything okay you can give uh, width and height and you can play with this so this is this is the use of uh, display uh, template areas this thing this make things so easy that you can create your layout in such a little span of time so this is all about your grid uh, there are multiple things in grid but uh, for now if you do this much of thing this is more than enough go through it once do it by yourself if you have any doubt just comment me down or you can ask in live class and we will do it together also but uh, before coming to the live class you just go through it once so i hope you understand and for with this uh, we have con uh, completed our theory portion of css there are something called float and something like that that we will do in live classes if uh, if you want uh, you just comment me down that you want float lectures i will just uh, upload a video for float but uh, this uh, for now for modern looking websites people use usually use flexbox and uh, grid template areas and column or uh, grid uh, grid values for, for now i guess this is more than enough in css just go through it once and uh, in live classes we will discuss all your doubts